There it goes. Hello, everybody. It's kind of weird talking to the dot <laughs> by where the little camera is. It's like talking to the dot. But anyway, uh, today is uh, February 14th, uh, 2020. I don't know what the video number is. I'm going to say uh, 6.30 something. But anyway, um, this video is going to be about Valentine's Day, uh, which is today, obviously, uh, 14th of February. Um, you know, there was a time in my life I... I I, I won't say I hated today because, um, I don't know, there's, you know, you see the memes and whatnot on the internet about, you know, not liking today, February 14th, uh, someone, uh, uh, in the current, my current job, I work in retail, and so we've been, uh, we had Valentine's Day up, I remember, before Christmas was over in the store that I work in, a little Valentine's display that has grown and grown and grown. And of course now it's uh, to the point of, of, it looks like a bomb went off, a little bit of shrinkage and everything. Here comes Harry, I think. But, you know, the person that uh, I was with was, had kind of, was bad mouthing it and said, you know, uh, our society, um, we have holidays, um, you know, every month basically has some sort of holiday, uh, retail holiday associated with it. Um, there we go, Harry. Um, you know, that for people to spend money, it seems like, whether it be obviously Christmas and New Year's, I mean, every holiday, uh, Valentine's Day, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Grandparents' Day, Fourth of July, I mean, it's just... It's the way our holidays have kind of been organized and somewhat commercialized, you know, decorations and everything else. And, um, you know, Valentine's Day is no exception. Candy, cards, or whatnot. And, uh, uh, golly, I can remember um, buying a bouquet of roses for my significant other at the time. Um, you know, spending $60, $70 uh, because... It was almost, you know, stereotypical on Valentine's Day. You get roses and uh, whatnot for your spouse or your girlfriend or whatever. And uh, I wanted that experience. I mean, I, I'm not bad mouthing it, but that's the way our society kind of is. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about and where it comes into play on the channel here being middle age and i'm afraid it's going to come across as some sort of poor meism and that's not how i want this video that's not the vibe that i want for the video this is not a poor me this is just a statement of the way that it is um you know i and and what set this in motion is i was wondering if you feel very bad today, like you don't have someone, or you feel alone, I would suggest counting your blessings. And what I mean by that is, did you get the ability to transition? Have you gone full time? Uh, are you on hormones? Are you in the process of getting hormones? Where are you in your transition? And again, this is going to be specifically tailored for, the focus is going to be on male to female, transgender folks, especially in middle age. Obviously, that's the channel, but this can even apply to someone in their 20s or 30s. Um, you know, have you gone full time? You know, have you, have you, in other words, where are you in your transition? And are you thankful that that's where you are? Can you imagine uh, not transitioning, not going through with the process and the lies and the, uh, you know, the time that we spent being, feeling shame and feeling guilt and not knowing, you know, not being able to express how we feel and being able to do what we wanted to do. Can you imagine continuing to live that lie 
and to be miserable, to be unhappy, you know. Um, speaking for myself, how many, how many of, how many relationships did we start knowing it wasn't going to work out because we were transgender and we didn't acknowledge it? How many times did we use it as somewhat as a beard where we hid it, we hid ourselves away, our authentic selves away, and you know, can you, in other words, what I'm driving towards is, can you count the blessings in your life? You know, thank goodness, number one, I know who I am, or I'm in the process of finding out who I am. Uh, thank goodness for um, the fact that I did transition and that, you know, we, we are more authentically who we are meant to be, even if that means we might be alone on this particular day or this particular hobby or this particular holiday, excuse me, looking at the plane behind me, Pikachu's in the, the biplane behind me. Um, you know, in other words, count your blessings if you can for where you are or where you're headed towards, where you're going towards. And maybe that might help, you know, offset a little bit of the poor meism or feeling not like a victim, but just again, that, you know, it sucks ass today. You know, we don't have someone in our lives. Now, I, in my situation, I'm very, very thankful here with Harry. Um, Harry has been a wonderful addition uh, to my life um, for two weeks now. I guess he's two weeks in, in my life. He's just a wonderful cat, you know, and I'm very, very thankful uh, being able to adopt Harry from the shelter and he's just a wonderful wonderful cat and uh, I made a Facebook post that probably came across somewhat tongue-in-cheek but you know for a trans woman in your in for let me put myself into it for a trans woman in her mid-40s looking at 50 I'm very thankful to have a cat um, that will sit on my lap here and purr and you know that wants to be with me and you know yes uh perhaps it you know i can sit here and go yeah it would be nice to have someone a human being who uh would give me flowers or a card um in a romantic situation but um that's just not in the cards you know so i'm very appreciative for what i have right now um, I can also say from my own experience, um, my daughter um, got me um, a rose, uh, a, a, an artificial flower. She made uh, little bouquets for her friends, and uh, she gave me a flower today as Happy Valentine's Day. And that in of itself is a wonderful blessing uh, that my daughter, you know, has accepted me who I am transitioned post post you know, full time and everything else. So again, if I could just stress, count your blessings if you can. And, um, you know, I, it's hard to make a video for everybody, uh, not knowing where you are in your transition. You may not even be transitioning at all. Um, I have a couple of uh, folks I'm very thankful for on the channel who are not trans, you know, they're not transgender. They're, they're just interested in the topic and I'm very thankful that they've uh, considered uh, subscribing to the channel, and uh, I like getting the input of uh, non-trans people. Um, it can be a real wake-up call. Uh, one specifically who uh, you'll notice in the comments is like, "Look, you know, your your opinions of women are way off. You know, uh, uh, cis women feel may feel this way, and it's it's totally against what." my precognition is so i'm very thankful for that other other viewpoint i guess you could call it a devil's advocate viewpoint but someone externally to say hey you're you're not not that you're wrong but have you considered this other point of view so i'm very thankful for that uh and so on that note i think i've said everything i wanted to say um uh, there was a a meme uh, that I saw a couple of years ago that uh, talked about being alone today and people who we may doubt ourselves, our value. And I can, I can say to you as a human being that you are 
lovable and you are worthy of being loved as a person and not to let you know today being valentine's day if you're not getting a card or a flowers or someone doesn't come up to you and say happy valentine's well, number one happy valentine's day so you got that from me to you uh but number two in the real world the non-virtual world you know if you don't have that interaction um it doesn't mean you're any less of a person and who knows maybe that's a call for us to volunteer our time you know go uh volunteer your time at a soup kitchen or a homeless shelter you know and again count your blessings you do you have a roof over your head do you have food on the fridge do you have clothes on your back and uh that's a blessing in of itself you know do you have a job do you have employment um, and maybe to instead of being poor me or feeling bad about not getting a card or whatnot maybe reaching out to someone else who may not be getting a card either and wish them a happy valentine's day and give them a hug um you know um on the side here i've been uh reading the bible and um which i'm looking for it I'm out of Genesis. I'm in Exodus right now, the second book in my Bible. Oh, Harry's moving. Um, you know, and again, if you if you even consider the Bible one lick of truth of any way, shape, or form, particularly about people, not only did we all come from Adam and Eve, but when God did a control alt delete uh, with Noah and the flood, he killed everybody. Uh, except for Noah's family, and so we're all related. So uh, it's, you know, you're perfectly good in going up to someone you don't even know and wish giving them a hug because they are your brother or your sister. Uh, they are related to you in one way or another. And if you don't believe in God and you don't believe in the Bible, for heaven's sake, um, we all must have come from the same little pool of chemicals uh, many, many, many years ago. However, life started on this planet. We all came from the same uh, little puddle of prehistoric slime. <laughs> so we're all related in that way. So uh, you are related to someone else. You do have a common bond with someone else. So on that note, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to uh, sign off and wish everyone a happy valentine's day today and uh, regardless give you just a thumbs up you're doing good and best of luck in your transition as i always say best of luck in becoming the authentic person that you believe you are as you find out who that is and uh, until next time harry and i will say goodbye harry's assumed his position but we love you and uh, we wish you the best of luck all right, take care, my friend.